Are you always having issues with bleeding your brakes? I'll show you the easy way. Right, welcome back. So for this video, I'm gonna bleed the front brakes. Um, I'm only gonna do the front brake on this one. So this first part is about preparation. So what you wanna do is get your handlebars into a nice position where they're nice and straight. Under this part here. So you can take the cap off. And then what you wanna do, you wanna get a bottle. You wanna get a 10, a 10 mil piece of pipe, drill a hole in the lid, put the bottle in, then tape it on. So the fluid's got somewhere to go. Because the fluid, you do not want the fluid going. Dot four, you do not want it on your paint. Because on your paint, it's gonna strip the paint off pretty quick. Then to prepare the actual caliper, what you wanna do is put an eight mil ring spanner on there. Put your pipe onto the bleed nipple and then cable tie it on. So it's on nice and tight. You don't want it sucking air back in every time that you open and shut it. So that's the preparation. Do you want a bottle with a pipe onto your bleed nipple? with the 10 mil ring spanner already on, so you can undo it. So you can crack it open and tighten it back up. Right, next you wanna get yourself some good quality um, dot four brake fluid. And then don't tear the whole of this lid off. Just put two little holes like this, because when you pour it in, you don't want it like coming out too fast. You don't want it blub, 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 and then spilling everywhere. Um, and I say I'm doing these brakes, um, I mean, the fluid doesn't look too bad. Um, but like I say, I don't know the history of this fluid because, um, you know, it's new to me, this bike is, but it's because it's quite an old bike. Yeah, that could have been sitting in there for years. It could have been in there five years, six years. So it's just out of precaution. And of course, this is a lot easier um, if you've got two people to do it. Because what you have to do now is, once you've took the lid off and that, you pump your brakes, so you pump it up, one, two, three, four, and on the fourth one, hold it. And as you're molding it, you need to crack that eight mil, well, yeah, crack the eight mil open, so it'll push through, and then the, the lever will come to the handlebar. And then before you loose the lever, you need to tighten that bleed nipple back up again. And then once it's tight, you do this game again. You go one, two, three, and then on the fourth one, hold it, then same again, open that, um, and then close it. Right, I'm gonna go and get my assistant so she can pump the brake. So it's um, a lot easier for me to just show you on the video. Back in a minute. Right, so this is what you do. You pump it, and then you hold it tight like that. And as, as you're holding it tight, you crack this open. So as you crack this open, the fluid will come through while that's still being held. Then you tighten this back up. And then once that's tightened, you release the lever and then do it again. So you pump it again, one, two, three, and then hold it tight. Then you loose this off, close it back off, and that loose. So you keep doing that. Make sure you keep an eye on your fluid. Make sure your fluid doesn't get too low. So keep doing that until, um, oh, I don't know. You wanna put up at least probably two, fill this at least once, maybe twice with fluid. Um, and then that'll be that side. They say start with the farthest one away, but I've got the uh, two cable system. So it doesn't really matter which one you do first, whether you do the left or right first, because they're two separate independent um, systems so it doesn't really matter so i'm going to carry on with that bleed them through and then uh i'll show you the result at the end show you the one last little tip all right another way you can do it um it's called gravity feeding and then what you do you just fill your reservoir up um and then you just crack this open at the bottom so crack it open Um, and because it's got fluid, because it's already got fluid here, 
um, you can you can actually pump it so you can just keep pumping it yeah and it'll just pump the fluid through if you watch it there um, can do it like that just to get the um, see how the fluid's gone down keep topping it up and that's a quick way of just flushing the fluid through um, and it will it'll build pressure up if I pump that through now hold it and tighten that up That's build pressure. But um, I'm just going to carry on now, bleed it through, make sure I get about, I'll say I'll probably put about 200 mil, maybe 300. I mean, I've got plenty, I've got a litre of this stuff. So yeah, I'll probably put about down to about 750, so I'll put about 250 mil through. And that'll make sure that I've got out much of the uh, old fluid and pretty much replaced it with all the new fluid. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye. Oh yeah, the, the one this last little tip. When you've bled it, and then you leave it overnight, the first time, pull your lever in, put a cable tie around it, and hold it on, um, and leave it like that overnight. And that'll bleed any of the air. It'll bleed it up to the top. It'll bleed it up to your reservoir. So all the, and then in the morning, when you when you take the cable tie off, just loose it out nice and slow. And any trapped air that's at the top, um, it'll come up into the reservoir uh, and that'll make it nice and hard your brake will be like nice and responsive so that's it then until next time ta-da